well done, Brad, on pole position. How did you go? Ah, oh, thank you. It's, um, it had new tyres on it, so the car moves around a lot. I don't really like the car moving around. Like, I've sort of done a quicker time in, like, the second practice session, but it's still, it's where it needs to be, so bring on race one. How did you put pole position together today? I'm not sure, to be honest. Like, I've only done a handful of laps here, and then pretty much I was P1 in, like, the first practice session this morning, so I can't complain, so doing something right. How do you find the RX-8 category? Yeah, for, for like the budget budget sort of class, like you sort of compare this with XLs and Pulsars. This is a sports car. An XL and a Pulsar was never designed to be a sports car. So they sort of do everything right out of the box. Good luck tomorrow. No, thank you. And welcome to the final round of the RX-8 Cup Series for 2022 here at Phillip Island. We've got Brad Harris on pole position with a blisteringly fast lap time of 1 minute 51.8. Tom Shaw second on the grid, Will Harris third, Justin Barnes has got fourth on the grid, Luke Webber's fifth, followed by Jack Panachia, Matthew Butters has pulled up on seventh, Andrew Shah eighth, Thomas Duncan ninth, and Ben Shaw a very respectable tenth place on the grid. And here we have the start of the first race, and Brad Harris has jumped away to a clean start there in front of Tom Shaw his brother Will Harris and Justin Barnes in the black 44 car. They sweep through turn one down to turn two. Very close there. Matthew Butters here in the 23 car. Clean start. Going through the gears, latching onto the back of Luke Weber there. He has Jack Penachia in the car number four to his left. Looks like he's got the edge on young Jack there and he's gonna nudge him out through into turn one. Nicely done and everyone's off to a clean start through turn one down to turn two. And here we've got the bunch still in a fairly tight pack. Everybody jostling for position. Flowing through turn two. Brad's got a nice uh, gap there down into the hairpin at Honda. He'll be very happy with that. And as the rest of the pack fly down behind him, heavily under brakes, We've got Will Harris has jumped in behind his brother there. And here's the in car from Tom Shaw's car. Justin Barnes squeezing up the right-hand side of Tom into the hairpin. Looks like uh, Luke Webber's going to go through as well. Tom's not going to argue. He just wants to run a clean race and accumulate points. And Brad's flowing through nicely online through Siberia. The rest of the pack are following through nice and tight. Everybody within an inch of somebody else next to them. Two wide there, three wide possibly. A couple of guys going out into the dirty part of the track there, but everyone's still into it. It'll settle down in a little while, everyone will find their place. And uh, there's William Ham. he's got a couple of wheels off into the dirt coming out of Siberia. That won't help him with his run up to the Lukey Heights. And we've got Brent Peters here in the Lux Performance RX-8, he's just got past Kiara in the number 7 car. Latching onto the back of William Ham. Goes down a gear up onto Lukey Heights. Brad Harris still at a comfortable lead there. And we've got a very uh, tight battle pack happening towards the back here as well. Clean racing so far. Everyone's still on track. Sorting themselves out. As we come around again, Brad's probably increased that lead a little bit, I think, over his brother Will. Heading down to the hairpin, on the hairpin. And he's down through the gears, turns it in. The tires will be nice and warm by now. And oh, what's happened here? Justin Barnes in the 44 car has been turned around by Andrew Shah. That's not how you play cricket. Justin won't be happy with that. And the in-car footage here showed uh, Justin off to the left-hand side as we're with uh, Matthew Butters. And here's a rear shot from Tom Shaw's car and you can see uh, Justin regaining the track and getting back into it. He's lost a lot of places there. So Tom's still going as hard as he can. He's got Andrew uh, Shah, um, Andrew Shah up behind him very closely there. So you can see what sort of benefit uh, was gained there by poor old Justin getting knocked off the track. So the very tight pack still head up again to Lukey Heights. And here we've got Thomas Derwent. This is his first event in the RX-8 Cup and he's doing really well. He's fending off uh, William Ham there in the white car. And they keep on flying through Siberia here. You can see the dust and dirt flicking up on the side of the track there and you need to stay off that because there's no grip. And we've got Matthew Butters who's got a great run out of Siberia. 
and uh, yeah, he's got a handful there with a steering wheel because he hasn't lifted off. He's run over the ripple strip and kept his foot flat on it. He's a very hard charger, Matthew. Very exciting driver to watch. And everybody's heading once again up to Lukey Heights. So it uh, hasn't spread out too much. We've got a battle pack happening at the back still. Meanwhile, Brad's just extending that lead a little bit. He'll be looking in his mirror and he'll be quite comfortable with uh, what he's achieving. And his brother Will behind him. And uh, here's uh, Tom Shaw battling it out with Luke Weber. So Luke's got past Tom out of the uh, hairpin there. Tom might have let Luke go because they, uh, they drive pretty hard together and Tom's just got to accumulate points. So he's going to drive a smart game here. But uh, we've got David Grice in the smart boating car. A little bit, bit of a flick on the steering wheel there out of the hairpin. And back to Matthew, in car with Matthew Butters. Oh, geez, that was close with the 99 car. Down into the hairpin, he tips the car in, struggling for grip on the front there. Back onto the throttle, and the pack are heading back up to Siberia again. And we've got uh, number four there, that's Jack Penachia in that beautiful looking blue car. He leads that pack through. Justin Barnes. We've got uh, Ben Silvestro joining us again in the yellow 85 car there from S Sport Racing. And they headed off up to the back straight past where the old hay shed used to be towards Lukey Heights. So here we are back with uh, Brent Peters and he's out of the hairpin and up the inside of William Ham. And looks like he's gonna go on the outside. No, William's gonna come back at him. And they're fighting hammer and tongs there. And up the back straight again. That's flat and fourth gear around there where the guys are side by side. But Brent's gonna try to get up the inside of him here. Changes up another gear, back into the throttle again. It's out on the dirty stuff, but I think William's got the best position on the track there. And looks like he's gonna hold Brent out. Yes, he is. So up over Lukey Heights, but Brent's gonna do the under and over. And uh, he's got him down to second gear and turns in nicely. And it's a great overtaking maneuver there by Brent Peters in the Lux Performance RX-8. Here's the rest of the guys coming out of uh, the hairpin. Thomas Derwent, and he's under a lot of pressure from young Kiara. She's only 15, this young girl. It's amazing the job that she's doing. And look, she's getting up the inside. Yes, she is in a commanding position there, I think, to get past him. We'll have to see how that turns out. Meanwhile, Tom Shaw's on the back of Luke Weber. They're battling hard. Tom's got Jack Panettiere very close behind him. Nice bit of flame there out of Jack's exhaust as he shifts up into fourth. And here's another battle. Ben Shaw holding off Andrew O'Keefe, who's back joined us again for this uh, Phillip Island round. And Justin Barnes is off into the dirt. And I know Justin, he would not have lifted there. He would have left his foot firmly planted on the throttle. And we've got uh, Ben Shaw getting in a nice slipstream from Justin Barnes down the main straight. He's on the outside. That's probably not really where you want, where you want to be, out in the dirty stuff. He's turned in. 215 kilometers an hour these guys are doing down there and Justin's swept through on the inside. He would have had more grit, grip and the, and the better line for turn one. We have Brad Harris taking out race one. Will Harris, Tom Shaw, Jack Penachia, followed by Thomas Duncan in fifth. Matthew Butters, Luke Weber in seventh, Ben Shaw will be very happy with eighth, Andrew O'Keefe in ninth, and Alan O'Connor in the S Sport Racing RX-8 coming home in tenth. And now we'll go to an interview with Martin Lyle. Martin, tell us about your season in RX-8 Cup. Look, I've had an absolute ball. Look, I'm a, an old dog trying to learn some new tricks. I missed the first round here in February, so I'm playing a little bit of catch-up. But look, it's a, it's a great great series in the fact that you know some old people like me some of the young people there's a lot of parity i like that and you know, all the guys have been very welcoming and so having an absolute ball what are your plans for the next year oh look try and do all the rounds uh, without a doubt uh, still learning the car still learning uh, what i can and can't do but uh, again as i say look i think you know, really i'm i'm in sponge mode and everyone is, is really helping when it comes to the car and also with my ability and trying to get a little bit better i don't think i'm ever going to be at the pointy end but i just want to be as good as i can be 
What excites you about racing in RX-8 Cup? You know what? I was always a fan of rotaries. Uh, as a kid, I loved them. Uh, I'd never owned a rotary. I was doing a little bit of research as to what category I should get into. Obviously, you know, cost is, is something to be concerned with. I did, as I mentioned, like the parity, the fact that, you know, that the cars are governed and it's not coming down to he or she who has the biggest budget. Uh, it's really just coming down to, to driver ability. So, look, it's a little bit of a dream come true and if I don't do it now, I'm not going to be doing it in 10 years' time. And here we go on board with Martin Lyle on the smart boat in RX-8 and he's off to a fantastic start there. He split the row in front of him, one on the left, one on the right. He's looking in the mirrors to see where they are. And here we've got Andrew Shah. He's rocketing down the left-hand side. What a fantastic start he's got. And Maisie Place, brilliant start as well on the bright green car to his right. They sweep through turn one. Here we're on board with Ben Shaw in the 38 car into turn two. He's latching onto the back of Tom Shaw. He's going a little bit wide there, maybe onto the dirty part of the track. He's holding it all together nicely. And they're gonna sweep down the fast back straight here down towards a hairpin. He's shifted up into fourth gear. And we've got Brad Harris leading the race again. He's got another nice jump. He'll be very happy with himself there. Through into Siberia. We've got his brother, Will Harris, behind him. Here we have the midfield pack. Side by side coming through the Siberia there. And uh, William Hamm bringing up the rear of that pack. Thomas Derwent. Maisie Places there. Martin Lyle. Glenn Gamble in the 31 car. He's just joined RX-8 Cup for the first season. And onto the main straight, we've got uh, Brad Harris still leading in front of his brother, Will. And look at this pack, two wide, three wide onto the main straight. Pretty exciting stuff. And they're filtering through, through the middle of the field there. Back to Glenn Gamble onto the main straight. And then we go on board again with Matthew Butters. Oh, look, Matthew's got uh, Stacey Vickers sliding up the left-hand side. There's nothing in it here. He's getting a slipstream from the car in front. And he decides to go between the 98 car of Thomas Duncan and Stacey Vickers. Look, he obviously was who's going to break the latest. Out in the dirty stuff there, but Matthew's held it all together. Thomas Duncan slipped back past him. Got that point, uh, that, that place back, which is really well. Oh, look, a little bit loose there. Struggling for gripping out of turn two. And they follow Brad Harris still down the back of the circuit. It's high speed stuff here. And it uh, looks like they've sorted themselves out and they've settled down. I'm all trying to find that little edge on whoever's in front of them. Back on board with Martin Lyle. And he's got up the inside of Maisie Place there. Looking like he's going to get up the inside of Kiara. Latching onto the back of Will and back with our leader again, sliding nicely through the hairpin there. Either Brad's having a little bit of fun because he's got a bit of a lead or he's uh, starting to struggle for grip, one of the two. But his placement of the car is beautiful on the track, gets the apex every time round here. His brother's uh, doing his best to catch up to him from behind and we've got Luke Webber hard on the back of him there. And uh, here's Matthew who's snuck up the inside of um, Stacey Vickers again. Well done there. He's looking in the mirror, seeing where Stacey is as they battle it out back up to uh, Siberia. And uh, away the guys go through that, that corner. Well, there's three wide onto the main straight here. That's getting pretty wild. I'll tell you, that, that's flat and fourth gear. And look, someone's lost a bumper bar, so that's brought all the excitement to a temporary hold while the safety car comes out. And there's going to be a bit of a regroup here. Everyone will be sort of looking in the mirror, seeing who's around them, gathering their thoughts, taking a deep breath and getting ready to go again. As we see Tom Shaw down the inside of uh, young Jack into turn one and no, uh, Jack's edged him out, managed to stay in front. They streak down to turn two. Ben Shaw Again in car here, and oh look sideways, look at that, that's fantastic, that's O'Connor, sideways in the S Sport car, he's held it all together, I think Ben was shaking his head there, he's probably laughing at the same time, but uh, here we are down into the hairpin, and look at that, uh, Luke's got past uh, Harris, 
There's a, there's a massive battle that's been going on between those two guys. And uh, Shaw's latching onto the back of Panachia. And they swing through once again Siberia. And here's David Grice, deep under brakes under William Ham. Back to second gear, turns the car in very nicely. Nicely done there. Up into third gear and, and that's a great job getting past Will Ham. Back to the guys at the front here. And uh, looks like uh, Harris got back past in front of Luke. And uh, they sweep through turn two. And not much is going to happen there at the moment. I think their tyres might be just starting to go off a little bit. Here we are flat out down into turn one. Andrew O'Keefe runs wide as we go on board again with uh, Ben Shaw. Uh, Ben's making up more places. Look, he's latched onto the back of uh, Justin Barnes in the 44 car there. So here's Andrew Shah on a charge. Looks like he's going to squeeze up inside the left-hand side of Jack Penachia. They come in on around onto the main straight. And we'll go on board again with uh, David Grice this time from Smart Boating. And he's got a great slipstream there and he's going to dive under brakes into turn one. It's well over 200 kilometers an hour here. Into turn one, sweeps through nicely. Very nicely balanced car there. Nice bit of driving by David. And we've got this battle continuing between Luke Webber and William Harris. There's a head off up the back straight towards Lukey Heights once again. And here's a ham on the inside of Martin Lyle. No, it's sorry, it's not Martin Lyle, it's Richard Clarkson and he's off into the dirt. What are you doing, Richard? There's no grip out there. Get it back on the track, mate. And he does that beautifully. Lost a lot of places there, a lot of momentum. And oh, who's this off into the dirt? Is that uh, Brent Peters onto the main straight, drifting it around and running out of track. Here we have the onboard with Matthew Butters coming onto the main straight behind Tom Shaw. He's right on the back of him. He's got a great slipstream there. He shifts up a gear. A little tap to say, I'm here. And that was a run for the chequered flag. Tom got him just on the line. Well done, guys. Matthew saying, great racing, Tom. And uh, looks like uh, Brad Harris got a drive-through penalty there for an infringement with a safety car. So that's given the win to his brother, Will Harris. Wow, bit of controversy happening here. Well done, Will Harris, for a race win. So as you can see, we've got Will Harris, Luke Weber, Andrew Shah, Jack Panaccia, Thomas Duncan, Tom Shaw, just beating Matthew Butters to the line. Stacey Vickers with fantastic drive. Alan O'Connor in the 22 uh, S Sport racing car and Justin Barnes in the just-in-time auto glass car bringing up the top 10. And let's go and join Maisie Place down in the pits. Maisie, tell us about your season in the RX-8 Cup Series. Uh, this season's been a lot different for me because I've been running three cars in my team rather than two like I have been the previous years. So it's been very different and we've decided to finish the year off with just one car. Uh, again, three cars to Phillip Island was a bit of a push. So yeah, we, we thought just bringing the one to the last round, just finish it off with a nice relaxing weekend. Uh, but yeah, it's been a really hectic year, but I've absolutely loved it. I've learned so much this year. And what is it that excites you about racing in the series? It's a cheap category and it's a very friendly environment. We're all like a big family. We're all willing to help each other out with our cars and you, you can't get better cheap rear wheel drive racing. And here we're looking at the start of race three, last race for the day, last race for the season. And it looks like everybody's off to a fairly clean start there. We'll go on board with Tom Shaw. And you can see Thomas Duncan in his right hand mirror there. So he's got the jump on Thomas Duncan and he's gonna follow this pack down into turn one. Not taking any undue risk. He's just accumulating points for this last race of the season. And here's the front runners coming off Lukey Heights down to the tight right hander. We've got William Harris out in front 
but Andrew Shah is very close to the back of him and not too far behind we've got Luke Webber now I know Luke's going to be on a hard charge here he's going to want to win this race he likes winning races this guy from Cootamundra and the pack swings through the last bend onto the straight we've got Brad Harris coming through from the rear of the field there he was put to uh, rear from his uh, discretion with the uh, uh, safety car in the last race. Got a fantastic shot there of all the cars running down the main straight with the ocean in the background. Here they are trying to sort themselves out. Early stages of the race. Battles happening everywhere in RX-8 Cup this afternoon. And uh, everybody's just fighting tooth and nail to try to get the edge on the person in front. Look here we've got Kiara, she's the car that lost the bumper bar earlier in race two. Martin Lyle sliding up the left hand side of her. He's got a bit of a slipstream from Maisie in front in the green car. Nice flames coming out of the back of Maisie's car as she rolls off the throttle for turn one. She's going to edge out Kiara in the red car on the right. Martin's just sitting back saying I'll have a piece of this and I'm just going to wait because any minute I'm going to strike. So it looks like he's got past Kiara already and he was lining Maisie up there. Here we've got Stacey Vickers in that extremely bright, colourful car. Looks like two, three wide going down the main straight there. And Tom is going to squeeze up the inside of these guys. He must have got a great run onto the straight there. He's got past Vickers. Is he going to get William Harris? Looks like he might. So that's a very close race in there heading down to turn one. The rest of the field floating through. And uh, here's the ongoing, ongoing race here. And uh, William Harris has slipped back up the inside of Tom. Great move there by William. Tom's obviously not taking any major risks in this last race of the season. He's not going to push the point. He says, I just want to bag those points. That's how you win a championship. Everyone clean racing here, nose to tail, round onto the main straight. We've got Ben Shaw leading that at the back of that pack there, on board with Ben here now. And who's that in the dirt? We've got Brad Harris in the dirt. What's happened there? That's unusual to see Brad off the track. But, uh, oh look, William Harris has missed a gear there and that's allowed Tom to slingshot past. That's a high speed part of the track down to the hairpin there. They're coming round onto the main straight now, yet another lap. As the laps tick away, we've got Andrew Shah. He's got Luke Webber right on the back of him. Tom Shaw saying, I'm going to have a piece of this action. Slipstreaming there. And that's what you have to do in these cars, is slipstream to get the edge and overtake at the end. And who's going to win this? It's anybody's guess. So Luke's going to go offline here, is he? Into the dirty stuff. Yes, and Luke slides into the dirty stuff. Andrew Shah's gone, thank you very much. Tom Shaw's gone, I'll, I'll capitalise on this. So here's Tom getting past, no, not getting past Andrew Shah, not yet, he's challenging. Challenging Andrew Shah down into the braking area and how deep under brakes and Andrew Shah's giving him a little bit of racing room there. Tom's gone, thanks mate, I'll take that. A little bit of opposite lock on the throttle, up into third gear, into Siberia, and thanks for coming. I'm going to lead this race. But he's copped a bit of a bang up the back there from Andrew Shah. Shah says, I'm not going to make it easy for you, mate. And look at these guys. You could throw a blanket over them. The four of them are just going absolutely crazy. Who's going to win this race? It's anybody's guess. Tom's got the front. Andrew Shah, Luke Webber, and Jack Panaccia. They swing through again onto the main straight and off down towards the ocean. Tom's using every bit of the track there. He is going 10 tenths. It is not time to hang around here. He is into it. And here we've got Brad Harris on the outside of Andrew Shah coming onto the main straight. That is a massive move. There's no grip on the outside there and Brad's struggling a little bit, but he's holding it all together. He didn't get past. Luke Webb has gone, thanks mate. I'm gonna come down the inside. I haven't been forgotten about here. I want a bit of this action. And now look, Brad has made it all the way up to the back of Tom Shaw. That is a remarkable drive by Brad Harris. He has come rear a grid through the field and now he is latched onto the back of Tom Shaw, our race leader for the last race of the season. 
for the RX-8 Cup Series in 2022. Brad is challenging Tom Shaw for the lead. The checkered flag is out. It's a run to the flag. Tom's going, I'm going to get this. Brad's going, I'm going to try and stop you. And who's winning the race here? We'll go on board and we'll find out. On board with Tom Shaw, leading the race, run for the checkered flag. Okay, this is the last gear change for the year and across the line. That's it, Tom Shaw has won the national championship. He held Brad Harris out, well done. So he was runner-up last year, he won the state championship this year and he's cleaned up beautifully with the national championship. Well done, Tom. Well done to all the guys in RXA Cup for a fantastic season. So there we can see the end of the race three. Tom Shaw, Brad Harris bringing up second, Andrew Shard, Jack Penaccia, Luke Webb will be very happy with fifth, Matthew Butters, very exciting driving there for Matthew, Alan O'Connor in the 22 car, Ben Shaw, fantastic drive, Thomas Duncan and Andrew O'Keefe bringing up the top 10. Well done guys. So that's our standings for the national championship. Tom Shaw first, Justin Barnes second, and young Jack Panaccia rounding up third for the season. That's fantastic. And these guys are enjoying the spoils here, spraying the champagne. What a fantastic event this has been down at Phillip Island. So that's the standings for the day. We've got Tom Shaw, Jack Panaccia, and Luke Weber. One, two, three. Well done, guys. We'll go to some interviews here. Congratulations, Jack, for our third place for the year. How did you feel today? Yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, it's been a fantastic season, really good racing all year. So, yeah, I'm stoked to come out third and to finish off the, the last race in third is spectacular. So I'm loving it. And what are your plans going to be for next year? We're going to do one more season RX-8 and then we're going to see where we go from there. But, yeah, try and go after the championship next year and see where we go. And who do you want to thank for the year? Uh, I have to give a massive thanks to Dale Place and Motorsport, uh, Promaze, Performance Run Australia, VACC and Revolution Race Gear. It's been massive and also a massive, massive thank you to 99 Motorsport for all their help over the years. It's, uh, it's been great. So Luke, how do you think you've gone this year? Nah, uh, well the year, it's been big, big learning curve, you know, learn set up. Um, everyone's been real helpful. Um, yeah, pretty much, I, know, I wanted to race a one make series. And done a bit of research. This seemed to be the cleanest, cost effective series there is. Um, and surprised myself a little bit. Like, I sort of, you know, yeah, surprised myself. And what about your result this weekend, Luke? Um, struggled to start with. Just come to Philip Island, you need some big kahunas there. Eh? Like, the last turn and turn one, there's a heap of time there. And just getting in the groove and getting the car where I want it, um, it, it took a bit of, yeah, getting into it, really. Yeah, yep. And who would you like to thank for the year? Um, family, yeah, wife, kids. Um, you know, they they're at every race with me, um, and Rick's crew really. They, you know, all his workers do a great job to keep everyone on the straight and narrow. Um, everyone, you know, the cars the way they should be by the rules. Um, yeah, yeah, mainly family, but definitely. Yeah. And your plans for 2023? Um, come back, have another go. Yeah, yeah, just sort of trying to. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm. I haven't done that many races really, so learning the race craft and when to make a move, when not to make a move, which I learnt in the uh, third race there. You know, took a couple of lunges where I shouldn't have and it cost me. Um, yeah, learn and move forward hopefully, yeah. Tom, a big year and a big weekend. Tell us about this weekend at Phillip Island. Oh, where do I start? What a, what a weekend. I think it was such a mystery that those last results there. Amazing weekend. We had a job to do and, and we've completed that job. So to come away with the national championship, we finished the state off last one. So to come away with two two championships this year and, and to win this round is amazing. I didn't I didn't expect to even be on the podium. We had a fourth, a sixth. The sixth was just conserving the car. And I think that's what we saved to come from sixth to win the race in the last one. That was amazing. But uh, we're just conserving the car. We're letting guys go that we thought caused trouble with. So. Just, we kept it straight, we won the weekend, and uh, it's amazing to pick up a championship in the same thing. Well done on winning the championship. What was the highlight of your year? Oh, there's been so many. There's been, um, it's just been an amazing year. I can't thank the team enough. Highlight of this year, maybe maybe this first round. Uh, we clean swept Phillip Island, round one in February. But um, I reckon this, year's the, this one's the highlight. We've come home, we've won the championship early today, and we can go celebrate tonight, catch a plane home and keep celebrating. I just can't wait. So moving forward, what are your plans? 
yeah, that's that's sort of what we're going to sit down and have a look at now. So to me, I'll be back racing RX8 Cup. I love it, and we'll be here in February. Thanks a lot. Cheers, guys. Thank you.